Good day, everyone. Welcome to the world of math. This is your math teacher, Sir Marvin Panagitan. Let me present to you the competencies. First, model real-life situation using quadratic function and represents a quadratic function using table of values, graphs, and equation. Let's define first what is quadratic function. It is a degree to function. In other words, ang pinakamataas niyong makikita na exponent ay 2. The graph is parabola. Para mailarawan po natin ito sa graphing paper, may papakita nito na ang graph niya ay isang parabola o paarkong linya. It is represented by equation, graph, and table. So, may lalarawan natin ang quadratic function sa pamamagitan ng equation, graph, at using table of values. Let us have an illustrative example. First one. Is f of x is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 8 a quadratic function or not? The solution. f of x is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 8 is a quadratic function. Since its highest degree is 2, and all numerical coefficients are real numbers. Example number two. Is y is equal to 7x plus 12 a quadratic function or not? Solution. y is equal to 7x plus 12 is not a quadratic function since its highest degree is 1. So dito sa number two, mapapansin nyo, Hindi po siya quadratic function, unlike dito po sa example number 1 na mayroon pong exponent na 2. Dito, the highest exponent is 1. So therefore, it is a linear function, hindi po siya quadratic function. So sa number 3, is f of x is equal to 1 over x squared plus 1 a quadratic function? Let us have a solution f of x is equal to 1 over x squared plus 1 is not a quadratic function since the highest exponent is negative 2. So, kapag tinanong nyo, paano po kaya yan naging negative 2? E, 2 yan. So, kapag ginawa po natin to as negative exponent, it is equal to x raised to negative Kaya po siya, not a quadratic function. Here are some examples of situations that models quadratic function in real life situation. 1. Target an object in upward direction. So kapag naghagis po kayo in an upward direction, makakabuo po kayo ng parabola. Dahil po, pa-art yung object natin. So, throwing an object downward, it is the same as number one. Shooting the ball vertically upward, minimum points uh, submarine to submerge, launching a rocket to its maximum point. So, these are the examples. So, Ito yung mga pictures na susunod po na ipapakita ko. Yun po yung mga halimbawa na maipapakita natin yung parabola o yung graph of quadratic function. First, a roller coaster. So kung mapapansin nyo po, yung roller coaster meron po siyang part. That is a parabola. A part. 
this is downward upward downward another example the bridge in other countries of course the infrastructures the buildings with arts is an example of parabola or you can say a uh, you can see the structure of a parabola that means the application of quadratic function another one it is also an example of a quadratic function a parabola a man jumping and the infrastructure infrastructure in australia so this is a graph example graph or a sample graph of quadratic function f of x is equal to x squared so this is the parabola so kapag may makikita po kayo na image that is parabolic or a parabola pa arc siya this is quadratic function the other way to represent a quadratic function is by using table of values or table so let us have this example so paano po ba natin malalaman na yung table of values na ito ay quadratic function or not so pinapakita po sa image na to na kukunin po muna natin yung first difference at yung second difference so magpo-focus lamang po tayo dito po sa y these are the y values po so kukunin lamang po natin po ang difference po nila so 6 minus 0 6 0 minus negative 4 it is positive 4. Negative 4 minus negative 6, 2. Negative 6 minus negative 6, that is 0. So, after natin makuha lahat ng first difference, kukuni naman po natin yung second difference. 6 minus 4, 2. 4 minus 2, 2. 2 minus 0, 2. So, kapag po sa second difference ay pare-parehas ang difference po. Ibig sabihin, this table of values represent a quadratic function. Let us have another example. So let's determine if this table of values represents quadratic function. So the first one, we're going to find first the first difference. So 31 minus 7, 10, that is 14. 17 minus 7, 10. 7 minus 1, 6. 1 minus negative 1 is positive 2. Then after finding the first difference, find the second difference. 14 minus 10, 4. 10 minus 6, 4. 6 minus 2, 4. So, dahil pare-parehas po yung second difference natin, meaning this table of values represents quadratic function. Is it clear, class? Very good. Given an a quadratic function, how will you complete the table of values and graph? Let us have an example. In quadratic function, f of x is equal to x squared minus 1.
So this is the table of values. So dito po, kayo na po ang magde-designate ng value ng x. So ang hahanapin na lang natin is yung f of x natin o yung y. By the way, uulitin ko po ulit. Ang f of x po ay equivalent sa y. Parehas lamang po ang f of x at yung y. So wag pong malilito. Parehas lamang po sila. Now, let us out. If x is negative 1, what is f of x or yung y natin? Paano yan? Paano natin kukunin yan? So yan po yung table of values. Hanapin natin yung f of x kapag ang x po ay negative 1. First one. Right? First, the quadratic function. Then, replace x, all x, by negative 1. So, palta natin si x ng negative 1. Si x ng negative 1. Then, we solve. f of negative 1 is equal to negative 1 squared. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Minus 1, the answer is 0. So, ngayon nakuha na natin, f of negative 1 is equal to 0. So, ito po ay 0. Very good. Let us have another example. So, yan po yan. So, hahanapin po natin, if x is 0, ano naman po kaya tayo yung y natin o yung f of x natin? So, we replace x by 0. So, 0 squared, 0 times 0 is 0. Minus 1 is negative 1. Very good. So, to find the third value, again, papaltan lamang po natin yung x na positive 1 by substitution. So, papaltan lamang po ng x ng 1, x ng 1. So, f of 1, 1 squared is 1 times 1 is 1. Then, the solution is 0. Then, after po natin yan, makomplete na po natin lahat ng table of values, pupunta na po tayo sa graphing. So, to graph the table of values na nakuha natin, first we have the graphing paper. So, let's plot First, x is negative 1, y is 0, or negative 1, comma 0. Yan po yung plot natin. Next is 0, ang x natin, y is negative 1, or 0, comma negative 1. Yan po ang plot natin. Then, x is 1, y is 0, or 1, comma 0 is, yan po yung plot ng points niyan. After plotting the points, we're going to connect. Yung mga points na yan. So, i-coconnect lamang po natin yan. Connect the points. So, parang makakabuo po siya ng parabola. So, ibig sabihin po yan, pa-art po siya, pa ganun siya, pag ganun, ang ang pinaka uh, ano niya ang graph niya so para po siyang pa art opens upward so that's it sana po masagutan niyo po yung atin pong learning tasks